At the Jersey City City Hall Tuesday night, Mayor Stephen Fulop gave his second annual State of the City address where he talked about the city building more affordable housing units, a booming economy, a decrease in crime, among a variety of other topics. The packed City Hall Chambers greeted Fulop with a standing ovation after City Council President Rolando Lavaro greeted the crowd and a video was showed to highlight Jersey City's achievements in the past year. After thanking the various dignitaries in the room for attending, Fulop began by talking about the booming Jersey City economy. Over the last year, we've been partners. We've had some great experiences and some challenging ones. We agree and we disagree. We talk through issues and differences. But together, with mostly a shared agenda, we should be proud that we are driving the greatest growth and expansion ever seen in New Jersey City. After acknowledging the family members of deceased Jersey City Police Detective Melvin Santiago, asking for a moment of silence, the potential 2017 gubernatorial candidate spoke about Jersey City's earned sick leave ordinance that was approved last January. Just think, we were the first in New Jersey in six in the entire country to implement earned sick leave, setting the stage for several other cities in New Jersey to follow our lead. Thankfully, because of your decisions, no parent or grandparent in the city will ever have to choose between caring for a loved one who's sick and losing 20% of their income. Also making note of Jersey City's declining unemployment rate, Fulop boasted about more residential construction than ever before. Since taking office, we have made this as an administration a priority, and the results are truly unrivaled. We have outpaced both the state and nation in our unemployment rate decline. In fact, since we assumed office, we have seen over 9,000 new jobs created here across all sectors. Construction, healthcare, finance, retail, you name it, they're coming here. First, we changed policy so developers are now actually building in often overlooked parts of the city. And as a result, we are seeing the highest level of residential construction in recorded history. Additionally, Full upset at ordinance will be introduced this year to ensure more residents are hired for local projects. Through the Jersey City Employment and Training Program, we've supported over 4,000 residents and matched many of them with apprenticeships and available jobs in many fields. And in 2015, this year, I am proud and excited that we will introduce an ordinance that will require Jersey City contractors and developers to hire even more of our fellow Jersey City residents. Fulop also stressed the importance of affordable housing for low-income families and homeless veterans alike. So in the next few months, we will approve some of the largest affordable housing initiatives we've seen in decades. Already, there are 100 affordable units on the drawing board for downtown, with more coming in shortly in a few months. As a marine, it's important to me, and it should be important to everybody in this room, to provide for our veterans who are facing challenging times. That's why in Jersey City, we have taken steps already to build two apartment buildings for veterans with the goal of being the first in the entire country to eradicate, eliminate veteran homelessness. As he began wrapping things up, Fulop assured residents that the Jersey City budget for 2015 will not include a tax increase. This year, taxes will be saved while we're making the most substantive investment in open space the city has ever seen in its history. I'm John Hytus with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.